Hey, how's it going? My name's Alex, and in this video, we're taking a couple of trailers from Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> I almost forgot my lines. <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga, California, to San Antonio, Texas. And I see them there right there. Um, this, this might not be fun. Now your first thought might be, Alex, that's not two trailers, that's one trailer. You'd be correct. Unfortunately, the, the other trailer wasn't on site, <laughs> but while that was happening, the dispatcher calls me up and says, hey Alex, you got eight more feet? It's like, well, technically I do. These trailers are like 15 feet each, that's 30. And plus we can overlap them a little bit, so technically I got like eight or 10 at least. And so I got this, this box, right? And so I climbed up there and checked what's inside. There is some like aluminum cage or something like that, aluminum framing. Um, so I can strap right over the top. It's not just gonna crush under the card, just as a cardboard box, right? So at least that's nice. So uh, three straps, even though that's a, too much anyways, because this whole thing is only 600 pounds. But now, right, now we gotta go all the way back to the same location and put the other trailer, because the other trailer was in Ventura for some reason. And so right now we're in Compton, you know, it's like, <laughs> and it's already the afternoon, so there's some traffic. So that's fun. But anyways, this thing also requires a tarp. So it's one of those days. <laughs> anyways, I'm going to get to work. How's it going? Could be better, I guess, yeah, right? Um, do you guys have someone on the way? Do you need any help? Okay, so it's just a regular, just a regular thing. So you're saying you don't have a jack or you don't have... No, the, everything is, is underneath is... Uh, my truck, my car's completely loaded. Everything's underneath the, all my dog. I got a dog kit, two dogs in there and everything. Okay. No, stop. No, not, not even. Buy don't, your, no. You got kids? And no. Don't even. Try, try, I'm, I'm telling you, don't even. I'll throw it in the street. It's okay. I'll throw it in the street. No, don't. Trust me, man. I've, I've broken down enough and not having the tools, you know, that's the most frustrating part. Yeah. Did you try to open it? Did you? All right, so we just got done changing the guy's spare, so now we can get back on the road. But he opened my door and threw like 30 bucks or something like that in the onto my seat. So he didn't even have to do that. He tried to offer me and I told him no, so he didn't, really didn't have to do that. That's not why I'm stopping. Um, but yeah, so anyways, but let's get back on the road. Are you fat? Uh, yeah, um, actually, actually I gotta go. Uh, okay. So I'll pay for the coffee. Okay, cool. And then I, I actually have an extra gift card. It's a $200 gift card. I don't know, maybe you can use it for fuel or something like that for oh pilot. Oh my god! Uh, it's just an extra one that I had, so. That's uh, so nice! Yeah, so, Thank you, I appreciate yeah, that. No problem, you have a good one. What happened? What? Oh, okay. That's not bad. Do you have somebody coming out? So it's just a, just a tire. Yeah. And do they tell you how long, how how far away they are? Uh, they should be here soon. Should be here shortly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, man. I just I, I, so I like stopping. I've been on the road several times, but on the side of the road, but several times myself. So just wanted to du double check. But okay, cool. You're, you're you the only one out of thousands. I've been here for two hours. So. You've been here for two hours? Yeah. Wait, are you sure the guy is on their way? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they they. It's, Service sucks here, so I can't really tell. But it's supposed to be here any minute. Yet. It's a rental car. It's not even my car. You don't want to just throw on the tire right now? There's nothing in the back. There's no. There's no. There's no donut. No. Hold on. Open it. Are you serious? They didn't give you a spare. <laughs> and you checked underneath it. Uh -huh. 
What? It's not, it's not mounted underneath? No. Wow! Dude. So, all right, man, best of luck, dude. Can you believe it? That Kia doesn't even have a spare tire. That's ridiculous. Let's get into this load breakdown okay so here it is the first one was two thousand dollars it's those two trailers and so basically a thousand bucks a trailer or something like that now it does say these are about four thousand pounds a piece uh, i don't recall and i don't uh, they, they they didn't feel that heavy i know they were air an aerodynamic drag you know they really slowed me down but um but so would the other box but uh but yeah basically eight thousand pounds and uh like 30 some feet right so uh, that's why a 40 footer is important, right? You know, there you go. So the next load was right here. It was 2,200 bucks. There's a bunch of little extra money for uh, for doing a good job. And it was that one pallet right here. Uh, it was right around 600 pounds. They just put a thousand dollar, a thousand pounds just to um, just to make it a round number. Um, and so this was the one that was going from Compton, California to Oklahoma City. The issue is I I didn't know, but this is apparently that second load in the in the wooden or not wooden in the cardboard box. That load was some kind of chandelier from China. It was like super expensive, thirty forty thousand dollars. And the first one they sent over broke and that's why they were like super aggressive with me unloading and i was taking a bunch of pictures recording them unload a bunch of stuff just because i didn't want any issue on me or any problems with me so uh, but they are overall really happy with the service so that basically gives us a total of 2000 plus 2200 four thousand two hundred dollars now how many miles right here i routed out rancho cucamonga right that's where i picked up the first trailer then i don't know why it says crystal city california even though like when you zoom in uh, like look at where Compton is compared to Crystal City. So here's Compton and here's Crystal City. It's like, uh, that looks like Compton to me, bro. You know, so, uh, but then yeah, right here you can see on Google Maps, I went right back to Rancho Cucamonga to pick up the second trailer that was there. And then from there, I went to Oklahoma City San and San Antonio. That gives us a whopping total of 1,839 miles. Okay, so not bad on the miles. Now, if you recall, we had $4,200 on the revenue. We had 1,839 miles. That gives us a total rate per mile of 228. So, absolutely not a bad rate per mile leaving california absolutely not now like i've explained before in previous videos there are some expenses in the trucking business believe it or not <laughs> the first expense being the first largest expense i guess would be fuel um uh, well usually driver pay is the largest expense is how it was what companies say but um for on in this situation the uh, first expense we can do is the dispatcher which was the i booked the first load and he booked the second load and so i i pay him 15 percent off of the loads he books and so that's $330 off of the $2,200 load, right? So that's the, but I do want to highlight, like look at the difference between what it's like to open your computer and book the first load versus actually looking at the load board and studying it and seeing what's a good load. So uh, like I booked those trailers, you know what I mean? Because you know, at the time I had to go get the, to the direct customer load in Houston and that load ended up canceling and falling through. So, uh, you know, I booked those trailers realizing that then, you know, there's no load for me in Houston because from San Antonio and Houston, I could have deadheaded, but it didn't work out that way. So I just opened up my laptop, booked what I could and just, you know, took it and wanted to leave. But, you know, uh, he, he, the dispatcher actually took some time, looked at it and, you know, his load is way smaller, pays more, way lighter. It's like, 
goodness, you know what I mean? You, you know, you can. This is the key to having a good dispatcher. You want him not just to book you the first thing that's readily available. Um, I guess it's a good thing for drivers to be patient as well. Uh, so really, just try to be patient and make sure your dispatcher is, you know, trying to find you something good. Um, not like me, basically. Uh, so yeah, three hundred thirty dollars on the dispatch, seven hundred fifty-five dollars. I counted on the fuel. Uh, on so it's seven fifty-five. So basically, about a thousand dollars in fuel, and we were at forty-two hundred dollars in revenue. So if you just subtract a grand, that's thirty-two hundred. I did have to pay for the tow truck um, on the pickup and the delivery for those two trailers. Um, so that was like another two hundred fifty dollars. Um, and then I, I, the truck does need a service, so I'm trying to save up some money for the service. Uh, so that's going to be not fun. But uh, but overall, you know what I mean. There's there's a good amount of overhead, but it's like you if you're out there hustling, working hard. I mean, it's not unrealistic to put two thousand bucks into your pocket as, an, as a non-CDL owner operator. It's not unrealistic. And if you can do that consistently for about a whole year, now guys, don't get me wrong, it's like I'm working hard, you know what I mean? So really, I hope, the reason I'm doing these videos is you can see what, what it takes. And so if you're out there putting the work in, about $2,000 a week is not unrealistic, and that's about 100 grand a year, roughly. That's not bad if I do say so myself. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and what you wanna see or what else I should add to the load breakdown at the end of the videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.